Okay, so we're nearly at the end. Step eight of 11 on how to sell your property for a premium price. We're at Powerboss Oak HQ. We're joined by Paul Laver, our Bournemouth area property specialist. And step eight is all around the viewing strategy. Now we touched on it a little bit in step three when we're talking about the launch of your house onto the market. Um, and I'm gonna let Paul lead this one because it's, it's, it's a great way for Paul to get across how he handles his viewings in the Bournemouth area. We do it across the whole company because it's part of the whole 11 step plan and strategy. But Paul, what's the kind of big high level stuff when it comes to a viewing strategy? Okay, so this is probably um, after we've done that 10 day holdback as we spoke about earlier. If we haven't actually had an offer or we haven't finalized it yet, and we're now gonna go back into our block viewings, which we would have uh, discussed with yourselves. So what that would be is we blocked out a Tuesday evening for yourselves, which we've uh, got that sorted, and a Saturday morning where we know like between 10 and 12, that's where we're gonna be getting 90% of the buyers in for you. So the point there, sorry to interrupt, but the point there is is that if you're going to do two blocks a week and be quite strict on that, you know, bearing in mind 90% of the viewings are going to happen then, the odd 10% will be able to, won't be able to make it, but you've got to make those blocks not Tuesday at 3pm and Friday at 11am, like you've got to make them unsociable hours, evening, 7 o'clock, weekends, 10am, Saturday or Sunday. Mm -hmm. For the most availability. Sorry. Yeah, right. perfect. And the, also, one of the good things is for the actual home seller, they only have to get their house ready once that day rather than at 10 o'clock. Then someone's booked in again at 6 o'clock, they've got to have their lunch again, we tidy up. It means they've got to do it once that day and it's much easier for, for them as well. So, that's one of the reasons we like to do that as well. And, and who's, in, in your experience, is it best for the seller to show the buyers around? Is it best for the agents show them around no absolutely not there's uh, a few agents who do get the the sellers to do it but what we have found is the agent is the best person to be doing it there's many reasons for this is but one of them is the actual person who's, who's looking around the house can be a lot more honest to the actual agent or what they think of it so we can find out a lot sooner are they interested in the property or are they not interested in the property and if we know for example that they're after a big family kitchen where they entertain that's where we can finish the showing again to make sure that this last thing they see is that most important factor of that property for them it's a massive point because i remember what solidified i said that right didn't i mm. what, what solidified this in my mind when i was when as i was being an agent and you know a lot of the time a lot of agents feel you know it's best the seller shows them around because no one likes them no one knows the house like the seller some of some sellers even say no i'll show them around thanks because no one knows the house like me but what people are missing with that advice and i promise you this i will bet my career on it is that it's not about the property it's about the buyer and people miss that so they think they're there to kind of sell the house they're not they're there to show the buyer the house because it's about the buyer and their situation and where they are in their viewing journey you know if they've just started looking very unlikely they're going to commit to making off straight away the other crucial thing is and this is a real life situation i once kind of shadowed a seller because because the seller said look i want to show all my viewers around i was like okay cool let me come along because that's what i do it's a service let me let me come along and i can help out the seller spent literally 15 minutes explaining to the buyer how their five parking spaces like really helped them with their grand family and, and they had a daughter with two cars and a boyfriend and, and a son and the parking was great and etc. Et et At the end of the viewing, the buyer said to me, I, I don't even drive. The thing that was important to them was the fact that it was only a 10 minute walk from the train station. But because the seller, rightly so, is passionate about the house, gets excited about it, wanna, they wanna explain all the lovely things that they've loved about it, doesn't mean the buyer's gonna love all that about it. So you've gotta focus on what the buyer's looking for, as Paul said, they want a nice big kitchen, you talk about the big kitchen, and you finish, start and finish viewing in the kitchen. And you won't know that unless you know sales, if you know buyers, if you know how to do a viewing. So there's a quick overview on, on step eight, the viewing strategy. Step nine of 11 is about the feedback follows on nicely from the viewings. We'll jump into that video. Don't forget if, if this is the first video, if you've come into these videos of step eight, go back and watch the other steps, one to eight, because they all interlock and it's a kind of a process, a plan, a strategy for you to work to, to get the best outcome when you, you put your place on the market. See you in the next video.